Thank you, Dr. Salafu. Good morning, everybody. Uh, before I uh, begin giving highlights of the day, I do want to uh, formally introduce you to the Deputy Borough President, Sandra Chapman. Could you stand for everyone? <laughs> Is there light at this podium? <laughs> Light's important who need to The Brooklyn Health Disparity Center is paving the way for a new paradigm of engagement that's grounded in the principles of social justice and community empowerment. And so what does that mean? It means that we value the community as an equal partner in the research, the education, the implementation, intervention, and policy uh, enterprise that we're all engaged in towards eliminating health disparities and achieving health equity in Brooklyn. And for some of us, that's a radical concept. For others, it represents work that we've been doing all along under a new name. But what matters is that, is, is that it happened. And that by conducting our work in this way, we are fully and truly making a difference in health improvement in Brooklyn. Today we will hear from Dr. Mary Bassett, the Commissioner of Health of New York City, who over the past three decades has used her position in government to champion a personal aim, narrowing the health gap. She's been a stalwart advocate for leveling the playing field for low-income populations in New York and creating community groundswell for the issues that define the health in our neighborhoods and the solutions for addressing health inequity. Today we'll also hear from Dr. Thomas Levy, whose scholarship is based on a keen understanding that tackling health inequality requires that we revalue equality, fairness, and compassion, and that we de-emphasize individualism in public health. His seminal work on segregation as a significant contributor to health disparities clearly demonstrates that the imperative of addressing seemingly intractable social issues to achieve health inequity, to achieve health equity. Doctors Marilyn Fraser White and Doctors Michael Joseph are leading the community health, health engagement core of the Brooklyn Health Disparity Center, to, and today they will introduce you to the approach the center is taking to partner with diverse communities, raise their voices, and help them to create conditions and homegrown solutions that they own so that they can live healthy lives. In all of the center's work, we recognize the contributions of our partners, especially our community partners, and including those often unsung heroes who use their businesses like barbershops and places of worship to engage the community in developing health equity solutions. Today, Umberto Brown, whose work focuses on health disparities and new constituency development for Downstate and the Arthur Ashe Institute, will raise the profile of our community partners in this work through a special recognition ceremony. The Brooklyn Health Disparity Center is a borough-wide resource, and so we're pleased to have the participation of Dr. Tracy Wilson of Downstate School of Public Health and co-director of the Research Corps for the Health Disparity Center, Virginia Tong of Lutheran Hospital, and Dr. Jean Ford of the Brooklyn Hospital to add their perspectives in response to Dr. Levy's presentation today. And so I thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to a very productive morning. It's my pleasure at this time to welcome Dr. Mary Bassett, and please allow me to formally introduce her. I have to, sorry. I won't be reading the bio in the uh, program, but I want to say that with more than 30 years of experience in public health, Dr. Bassett has dedicated her career to advancing health equity both here and abroad. She served on the medical fac faculty of the University of Zimbabwe for 17 years and later served as the Associate Director of Health Equity at the Rockefeller Foundation Southern Africa office, overseeing its Africa AIDS portfolio. 
In 2002, she was appointed Deputy Commissioner of Health Promotion and Disease Prevention at the New York City Department of, Mental, of Health and Mental Hygiene, where she's directed many public health initiatives. Since 2009, Dr. Bassett served as the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation at the, at the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation as program director for the African Health Initiative and more recently the Child Wellbeing Program. Dr. Bassett says, if successful health improvement were based only on facts, we would be freed from the enduring con controversies that surround efforts to alter ways in which people eat, drink, and smoke. She's written that public health is also personal. The family member or friend who died from a preventable cause, the human story that underlines the statistics we cite, public health take pla takes place in the boardrooms, on the street corners, in our homes, and in the legislator, legislature. And so too does public health advocacy. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Mary Bassett.